that I'm really excited for is Cobra Kai final season. But Jeremy, they're doing something completely different. They're dividing, so it's 15 episodes. And they're dividing it into three parts. So I'm assuming if I'm doing my mathematic correctly, for the first part is uh, five episodes. The next one's five. And the last part is five. But what's so different about this, because they've done parts like this before, this one's coming out like really far apart. So this show is being a, a released initially in July. They did put out a trailer for it. But part two of this final season comes out in november and then the final part comes out in uh 20 sometime in 2025 oh wow now i know stranger things did something similar to this so did uh zach snyder's movie uh uh rebel moon by the way do not watch that movie <laughs> uh, however when those things came out they were usually within a month's period not so far along so um, Jeremy, what do you do? You, I know uh, you have seen Cobra Kai. Do you, what do you think about the final season finally coming out and then it being spaced out into three parts? And my question is to you: Do you think that this show will want to keep the audience coming back to watch it? I mean, five episodes is a small little; it's a small chunk, and especially if it's coming all out at once. So, what do you think about this? First of all, I have seen. Uh, Mike Tyson mysteries. It's fantastic. It's uh, such a such a great spin on the Scooby Doo uh, style and narrative, and and very very funny. I was a big fan of it. Alex, did you ever see it? I did. That was dope. That yeah, was really yeah, dope. Yeah, definitely a good watch. Highly recommend checking that out. Um, you know, I personally am a firm believer in the uh, stretched out release schedule. I like Fallout a lot, just to point to a very recent example of a streaming service that put the entire season out at one time. I think I would have preferred Fallout if we had a week to digest each episode and we could talk about it and we could theorize and we could build anticipation. Um, as far as a business model goes, say I want to watch Cobra Kai season five. So I subscribe to Netflix. I watch it all at one time, uh, 15 episodes, boom, take me two, three days. I can cancel my Netflix subscription immediately, where if I break it up into three times, three different months, I've now I've got your subscription dollars for 300% as much, uh, which is just, it's the savvy business move. Um, I am somebody that will binge watch television series. Like I just watched Baby Reindeer, uh, which was a seven, seven episode mini series on Netflix. Mm -hmm. Very good. Wouldn't recommend it. Uh, but it, um, so if it's there, I'm going to do it. It's like, if I got a whole bag of uh, M&Ms in front of me, I'm going to eat the entire bag of M&Ms. You give me a family size bag of M&Ms. I'm going to eat the whole thing, dude. I'm going to, I'm going to gorge myself even if it's not good for me. And uh, so I like the restraint of releasing week to week because it builds anticipation. It keeps the conversation going longer. It makes sense for the businesses because that way they are able to keep uh, and retain subscribers. And um, I understand why people would prefer to binge the entire thing. You know, we are a very instant gratification society. Some people don't like being left on cliffhangers, but um I kind of preferred the way that Last of Us was this um, week to week appointment viewing on Monday morning. Everybody was talking about it at the water cooler. And um, so, yeah, I, I like that they're releasing it in three parts. And also, I didn't even mention Cobra Kai is such a freaking awesome show. It started on YouTube. I, I want to say they might have mm -hmm. even done the first two seasons on YouTube, but yeah, definitely the, the first one. You have the first two seasons, yeah. And then they sold to Netflix, and the production value increased. They were able to afford some bigger stars. They really uh, you know, spared no expense in this relatively cheap show. It does a really good job of like evoking nostalgia and appealing to people of the you know Gen X millennial crossover, the the zennials, if you will, uh, who grew up loving Karate Kid. While it also creates new relatable characters for young people, so there's like these two different storylines. Both of them are extremely effective, and I think both of them speak to their core audience in a way that's like uh, 
can be meaningful and enjoyable for dad watching it with his daughter. Uh, you know, and, and so I, I really like that. Um, mm. what do you think about them releasing it in three parts? I just, I mean, I, I'm interested to see it because, you know, I'll say this, uh, the last, the last season, I believe it ended in a way where they could have just like, can't like, like would have ended because crease was in jail. Yes. He broke out, but it doesn't necessarily mean that, um, they can continue the story. I mean, I think that they left it off where they took down Cobra Kai for what it was. My my interest in it is, okay, now that we've seen Cobra Kai kind of dismantle, how are they bringing it back? Why? Because Kreese, yeah, Kreese got linked up with those same karate che- teachers, but how are you going to bring the students back? Because even in the trailer, you see some of those students who left with now Miyagi do, and some of them are just compl- have quit completely. So what are we doing? Like, how are we bringing back the, the further of these two dojos or three dojos? If you count, um, Eagle Fang. Yeah. So, <laughs> so for me personally, I'm interested in seeing it. What I don't like, which I agree with, uh, with rundown. He said that he didn't, he doesn't like it. it's in three parts. I don't like it. it's in three parts either. I don't. And a uh, Brad King can't even made a point uh, earlier. He said that he'll just wait until yeah. it, it all co- it comes out. Like he wrote this. Thanks for telling me it was releasing in three parts. I'm just going to wait. I might I just do that. There will be a lot of that. Yeah. Or, uh, okay, the season's going to be released in three parts. It should be closer. And I agree with him. It should because it should be no more than a month maybe two months apart one of the like i stated earlier i love arcane right do you realize arcane came out in 2021 stop man i i get these constant reminders about how old i am and it's very (laughs) disheartening yeah i did realize that that's wild we're just now getting a season two this year yeah Yeah. and like i understand animation takes a long time i get it but dude three years Three years, so for me, I you know, I'm interested in these these things. I think what Netflix should do is focus a priority on things that are working and develop original content. However, put out your prominent Deadpool shows. Like I think you could still you could tell another side story to Stranger Things and connect the universe if you wanted to, you know. So, but to to Cobra Kai, I do think that um, having it in three parts will excite people. I think what will disappoint people is because it's so spread so thin. And I don't I don't like it how it's like that. But what do you guys think? What do you guys think of Cobra Kai being spread into three parts? Jump into your comment section below and let us know your thoughts. And um for time constraints, we're just gonna jump to the final topic today. We had one.